Hi, I'm John Hines, and I'd like to introduce you to the Still Clean Solvent Recycling System. Still Clean is a tool that will allow you to take your dirty, oily solvent and at a rate of a little better than a gallon an hour, turn that used solvent back into pure, clean solvent to be used again in your parts washer. So in other words, you become your own solvent recycler. And with the cost of solvents and solvent services these days, the Still Clean will actually pay for itself. Now that alone is a pretty good reason to take a look at this technology. But there are a lot of good reasons for recycling your own solvent. As a matter of fact, there are a few questions that you might want to keep in mind as this program goes on. Things like, would you like to have clean solvent to use every single day? And why is that important? Well, for starters, clean solvent improves shop efficiency. Clean solvent cleans faster and it cleans better. Clean solvent can reduce shop comebacks due to parts being reassembled that weren't as clean as they should have been. Additionally, you can reduce the amount of money that you are now spending on never-ending service contracts and purchases of aerosol cleaners. We've seen technicians use case after case after case of aerosol cleaners on parts that have already been cleaned. If you add those cases up at the end of the year, we're talking about a significant amount of money. Now, at this point, you may be saying to yourself, well, that's all well and good, but I do have clean solvent. I have my dirty solvent picked up and new solvent brought in regularly by a service company. Well, you and I both know what can happen with that. What starts out to be maybe a two or even four week service interval gets stretched out to an eight or 12 week interval because of the cost of those parts washer services. And at that point, the solvent gets so dirty that you're either putting dirty parts back together or you're going through gallons of aerosol cleaners just to get your parts as clean as they need to be. But the truth is that even if you do maintain those short service cycles, the solvent isn't as clean as it could or should be and you're still spending a lot of money on service contracts. You need clean, pure solvent to work with each and every day. Another important consideration with solvents is future costs. Parts cleaning solvents are petroleum distillates. They come from the same barrel of crude oil as our gasoline, diesel, and lubricating oils. We all know what's happened to the price of those products over the years, and you certainly don't have to be a Wall Street wizard to guess that they aren't going to get cheaper anytime soon. Still Clean gives you the ability to clean parts the way you need to, while still managing your costs and keeping you off that old service contract treadmill. And finally, recycling your own solvent allows you to greatly reduce or even eliminate the hazardous waste that your company produces from parts washing, which is a very important regulatory consideration. Nobody wants to be on record as a hazardous waste generator if they really don't have to. So whether your goal is to save money, do a better job, or make your operation greener, Still Clean is the tool you need. Now you could say, okay, I can buy into that. That makes a lot of sense to me, but I have multiple solvent tanks in my shop. So if I buy a Still Clean, that means I can have one of my tanks that is clean and in good condition, and I'm still stuck with two or three other tanks in the same old program. Not so. Because of the efficiency and portability of the Still Clean, it can easily handle multiple parts washers, taking care of all the washers in your shop with just one Still Clean. And because of multiple built in safety features, you can safely distill not only all day, but all night without worrying about it. You know, the nice thing about this machine is that it uses proven technologies that have been around for years. It's a vacuum and low temperature distillation system that is extremely efficient. And like I said, it'll produce a little over a gallon an hour. Still Clean produces almost no external heat, operates very quietly, creates virtually no bad odors, and does all of this very safely. In fact, Still Clean is ETL certified to UL standards 201 and 2208. Still Clean accomplishes all of this while being very affordable both to own and to operate. Now, before I get into the machine itself and how you set it up, let me show you exactly what it can do for you. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to use these two glass jars. The empty jar is where the clean solvent is going to collect. Now this is some fairly dirty solvent right here, but what we could do is add some automotive drain oil to this. How about that? Is that oily enough for everyone? Now what I'll do is just stir that up a little bit and put the inlet line right in there. The only reason that I'm doing this without the filter is that I know that there isn't any grit in there. In a real world application, we would never want to run without the filter. So now the tank is empty. 
When I turn this on, it's going to suck this down pretty fast because it's going to be filling the distillation tank. There is no solvent in there at all. The only solvent that we are going to process is what you see here in the container, which means the only clean solvent that you see come out came from right here. And now we'll wait for the temperature to come up to where we can get effective, efficient distilling. You can see the distillation process starting. We're right around 250 degrees, and as it gets hotter, it's going to become much more efficient. But as you can see, we are now up to operating temperature, and it's running very, very efficiently. And I think you'll agree that we made it work pretty hard because that was some really oily solvent that we ran in there. But once it gets up to temperature, it processes pretty quickly. So the question is, which would you prefer to use to clean your parts? I think the answer is pretty clear, isn't it? At this point, I'm going to show you exactly how easy it is to use and maintain the still clean. Dirty solvent is pulled into the distillation chamber located down here in the machine. The chamber has a small float, like the bowl of a carburetor, to keep the solvent level where we want it. Once the solvent is heated to its boiling point, it starts to vaporize. The solvent vapors then rise, leaving the oils, greases, and contaminants behind. The vapors then pass into a condenser, which is cooled by a fan, where they condense back into a clean liquid that drains into the accumulator and then is returned to the parts washer. In addition to heat, the still clean also uses vacuum. The idea being that when you place solvent under vacuum, it will boil at a lower temperature, which means you need less heat. You don't scorch the solvent, resulting in much less smell. So with a combination of a little heat and vacuum, you end up with a very efficient distillation system. Now, in order to make it work, you have to be able to plug it into the wall to run the heater and the fan. A simple 110 volt cord. In order to produce the vacuum, you'll need compressed air, and that hooks up right there. The shop air is not used to pressurize anything, just the opposite actually. It is used to rush past a venturi, which creates the vacuum for the machine. Then you'll see on the back here, the accumulator. The accumulator does just that. It just accumulates the clean solvent until it is full and then drains back into your tank. Hooked to the accumulator, of course, is the drain hose. The accumulator drains by gravity only, no pump, simple. The accumulator hose is attached to a pullback chain. The pullback chain serves two purposes. First, the pullback chain is grounded so you can attach it to your parts washer to guard against static electricity. Additionally, if something should happen where the hose comes loose from your tank, the hose will pull back up to the unit and not allow your clean solvent to keep draining out onto the floor. So you have shop air, 110, gravity return, and your intake to get the dirty solvent out of your tank. Let's talk about that for just a minute. Your suction line, of course, just goes into the back of the machine. The other end is connected to an intake kit, and this attaches to one of two available filters. The first is our still clean floating filter assembly. This filter will float just below the surface of your solvent, staying up out of any potential sediments, and in some cases even water, that tend to accumulate in the bottoms of parts washers. This is the filter that we recommend. There's a little quick connect that goes on right here. It's very, very fast. You can just connect it and disconnect it pretty simply. Changing the filter is equally easy. It's a friction fit and very simple to change. You basically just pull the caps off, insert a new one, and you're done. The second type of filter you can use is a standard automotive spin-on style filter. In that case, you'll get a threaded fitting with the hose and the quick connect. You simply connect it and submerge it. Ideally, you're going to want to wire tie or attach the hose so that the filter stays suspended about midway into the tank for the same reasons that I mentioned earlier. Either one will work, and both are very inexpensive. Depending on how dirty your machine gets, you'll probably end up changing this filter two or three times a year. So it's really not very often, and it's not a big deal to do it. Keep in mind that it is important that you are using one of the filters at all times. The Still Clean has some tight tolerances inside, and we want to avoid the unit taking in pieces of dirt, gasket material, and so on. So always run the unit with the filter. If you're servicing multiple machines, you may want to order additional intake kits so that you can set up each machine with one, and then when you want to service that machine, you just quickly hook up the intake, plug in the air and power to the still clean, and away you go. 
Now having said all that, let's take a look at the front of the still clean and you'll see just how simple all of this is. Here you have the on off switch. Next to that, you have the foam filter that covers the cooling fan. Now if that gets dirty, you just take it out and clean it like you would on your air conditioner at home. Here you have the oil drain vent. This acts like the vent on a gas can. So when you need to drain waste from the machine, you just unscrew that. Otherwise, the tank won't drain properly. Above that, you have the full accumulator light. That is there to simply let you know that the return hose is popped up to where the accumulator won't drain your clean solvent back to your tank. If you come in in the morning and you see the full accumulator light on, just simply reattach the tube to the tank and let the accumulator drain the clean solvent, then cycle the on-off switch and you're back in business. Above that, we have two gauges, and these are very important. This is the air gauge and the vacuum gauge. With the air gauge, we need to have about 80 PSI in order to make the unit work. It's internally regulated, and you may notice that when the unit is not running, that the air gauge will read on the high end. But when you turn it on, you'll hear the solenoid click, and the gauge will read your actual air pressure. And there you go. Looking at the vacuum gauge, you'll see that the vacuum, which is very important, should be running between 22 and 28 inches. You can see this one has good vacuum and is holding vacuum very well. Keep in mind that vacuum is affected by altitude. So let's say you're in Denver. You're not going to get 27 or 28 inches. It'll probably be more like 25 inches, and that's fine. Looking down at the front, you'll see a temperature gauge. Above the temperature gauge, you'll see an oil full light. When the tank becomes full, in other words, it has a lot of waste in it, the distillation process will stop. As the temperature starts to rise, the light will come on and the unit will shut off. This is another safety feature and an indication that you need to drain the machine. Next to that, you'll see the red drain valve and a little warning that basically says, this stuff is very hot. So you need to let it cool a little while before you drain it. So what do you do when this light is lit? How hard is it to drain it? Well, it's actually very, very simple. You need to turn the power switch to off. That, of course, shuts everything down. Let it cool down a little bit, then remove the oil drain vent cap, and that will break the vacuum in the tank. Once you've removed the cap, place a waste container underneath and turn the drain valve to open, which allows the waste to drain out. This waste can generally be put into your used oil. Once that's done, shut the drain valve and put the vent cap back on snugly. In order to build vacuum in the system again, turn the machine back on and press the light to reset it. And now it will begin recycling solvent again. So you can see it's really very simple to operate. Another thing for you to consider is the actual mounting of the still clean unit. It's very lightweight, about 29 pounds. So you can easily set it on the workbench next to your parts washer. The other option, and this is especially nice if you'll be servicing multiple units, is this cart that you see right here. It's designed specifically for the still clean. It's very well built and has this handy shelf to put your waste collection container on. Now, regardless of how you choose to mount the still clean, you have to keep in mind that the accumulator on the back of the unit needs to set higher than the tank that you are servicing so that the clean solvent can gravity drain back to your parts washer. Okay, one thing we haven't talked about is the actual solvent. The solvent that you are using has to be distillable, and that simply means that it has to have a boiling point, not the flash point. The boiling point has to be between 315 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So look at your material safety data sheets, and it will list the boiling point of your solvent. That range covers about 90 to 95 percent of the parts washing solvents that are in the field today. But if you're not sure, contact your still clean representative for assistance. I think it's pretty evident that the flexibility of the still clean can basically turn whatever your solvent cleaning process is into a solvent recycling system. Still clean is ideal for engine and transmission rebuilders, heavy equipment and truck repair, facilities maintenance, and it's great for recovering expensive machining oils from solvents. Still clean will work with your existing equipment. We can also supply complete parts washers of all shapes and sizes, including custom systems, with still clean solvent recyclers integrated right into them. For more information, or to contact Still Clean or an authorized Still Clean distributor, please visit our website at stillclean.com. Thanks for your time.